Ever since the days of the Halo 3 Terminals, I have been fascinated with the story of the Forerunners. So when I heard that the Forerunner saga was going to be coming out, I was so excited, I just could not wait to read the first book. Now, a lot of people had concern that a story, a, a book series about the Forerunners would take away some of their mystery, some of the mystery behind them. Um, yeah, I can understand why that would be a concern for some people, but for me, reading the books, I think it's like, it, they, they did a rare thing where they told you a lot about the foreigners, but they still managed to keep the mystery alive. They, because for me, it left me wondering more, asking more questions. And I think that's fantastic, because it leaves you wanting more. Now, the first book of the foreigner saga is Halo Cryptum. Now, this book introduces you to Born Stella, a young forerunner, quite rebellious, doesn't really want to follow his path, which has been attended to him by his parents. And two humans, Chakas and Riza? Risa? I think it's Riza. I might be wrong, I do apologise if I'm wrong, but I'm going to say Riza. And it also gives you, it also tells you a bit more about the story, sorry, the characters of the didact and the librarian. Especially the didact, because you do get to know the didact on a bit more of a personal level in this book. Now remember, this book here was released long before Halo 4. So I think going back, going back after playing Halo 4 and seeing the didact in that game, and going back and reading this book, it really gives you a good fresh perspective on the didact's point of view. Because in this book, it also introduces you to the human foreigner war. The fact that apparently humans had this ancient spacefaring civilization was just incredible. I mean, it, it, was, it was unbelievable. And I enjoyed reading all about it because this book, there's one thing you should know, and it's the same for the other books as well, is that the style of writing that Greg Bear uh, has chosen for, the, for these stories. You really have to read it carefully, and you really have to take your time reading it. You can't skim the pages, you have to really sort of absorb the material, because if you try and skim it, you will miss out so many important details. Because the story about the human spacefaring civilization, and how they encountered the flood, and the war between them and the forerunners, I enjoyed all of that. I thought it was a great story. It added so much more mystery, and so much, so it, it, it added so much deeper depth to the story of Halo. And I think um, this book series shows that Halo has become much more than a first person shooter. It's become a great science fiction story. And I think we've got uh, this, especially this book series, The Pank Boys. That and the Karen Travis books, because before Karen Travis and before uh, the Halo 4 and her saga books, the, um, the novels before, they weren't really that good. I mean, Eric Nyland, uh, during, you know, Eric Nyland writing First Strike and The Fall of Reach, they were good, but the rest not so much. Especially Contact Harvest. I think Contact Harvest was the most disappointing one, in my opinion. But anyway, this book here, it really, what, it, it, it leaves you wanting more. For, you know, it, it leaves you looking forward to the next book. And that's what the next video will be. It will be Halo Primordium. And I will be doing, after that video, I will, it will be the last video before Halo Silentium. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Halo Silentium. So, before that, before we release that book, I'm going to be telling you about these two books. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.